Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. And in today's video, we're going to go over some surprise cut candidates. When the NFL draft as well as NFL free agency behind us and really in front of us, now just the time for offseason workouts, training camp, and preseason will be here before you know it. And the Giants will have to cut down their roster from 90 players to 53. And I'm going to give you some five surprise cut candidates. These are people that we would be surprised if they were cut, but I could also see it happening. So if your first response is, Marshall, there is no way he's being cut. I mean, I did a pretty good job on this video. And the number one player I have as a surprise cut candidate is Tommy DeVito, a.k.a. Tommy Cutlets. I just don't see how the New York Giants are going to keep three players at the quarterback position on this roster. Sure, DeVito can probably be re-signed as a practice squad player, but maybe he gets picked up by another team and gets signed to their active roster. Or maybe he chooses to go play for another team's practice squad. And you look at what he did in nine games. He had some success. He won three games as a starter. He lost three games as a starter. He was sacked a whole lot, just like Daniel Jones. Sacked 37 times in nine appearances this year. Completed 64% of his passes, eight touchdowns to three interceptions. But I don't see how he makes this roster over Daniel Jones. And I don't see how he makes this roster over Drew Locke, who the New York Giants gave $5 million to on a one-year deal in NFL free agency. Could the Giants keep three quarterbacks? Yeah. Would I be shocked? No. But in the past, with Joe Shane, they've kept two quarterbacks. Different situation. You've got three guys who have all won games in this league. I just don't see it happening. So I have Tommy DeVito as a surprise cut candidate for me. What do you think Joe Shane should do with cutlets? Should he keep him or should he cut him? I thought that was, I could have made that funnier. That's on me. That's on me. It's Monday. What to do with Tommy DeVito? Type K for keep, keep C for cut. Another surprise cut candidate for me is wide receiver Isaiah Hodgins. Giants re-signed Hodgins on a one-year deal this offseason, but it's not really because of anything he has done or that he has not done. It just comes down to a numbers game. The Giants kept six wide receivers this past year. And players that are 100% going to make this roster as a wide receiver are Malik Neighbors, Darius Slayton, Jalen Hyatt, and Wandale Robinson. That's four players. You've got two more slots. I believe Gunnar Olszewski is a lock to make this roster. The Giants have gone through the trials and tribulations of not having a return specialist. And that's why they signed Gunnar Olszewski. So you got one more spot. And sure, that could be Isaiah Hodgins, and he's probably the most likely player to get that final spot. But Isaiah McKenzie was signed early on in free agency. What if Bryce Ford Wheaton, the UDFA that everybody fell in love with last year, has a really good camp, and he makes a roster because he gives more special teams versatility. It's not the wildest thing to think about Isaiah Hodgins not being a part of this team because he was really, really not all that productive in 2023. Not a lot of chances, not a lot of opportunities. But he was really great in 2022, and I think he's a good football player. I'd like to have him back. But it comes down to the numbers, and it comes down to the amount of players you're going to keep at that position. We outlined how Hodgins could be cut. I'd like to see him back. I think there's more juice that he can give to this team. I just like him as a football player. I think he's gritty. I think he has good chemistry with Jones. I could see him being cut. I would keep him, though. Another player on the defense side of the ball I could see being cut is Carter Coughlin. And this is just a surprise cut candidate for me because of how long he's been apart of this football team. His rookie contract, it came, it went. He then re-signed with the Giants on a one-year deal this offseason. But like Hodgins, he just joins a position group that has some good football players at, on it, and it just comes down to the numbers. I don't see the Giants keeping all that many linebackers. Okereke is going to make this team. Micah McFadden is going to make this team, as well as Isaiah, uh, Isaiah Hodgins, Isaiah McKenzie, uh, Isaiah Simmons, excuse me. Jesus, how many Isaiahs are on this team? Um, Isaiah Simmons, that's three guys I think are guaranteed to make this roster. I think it'll come down to Carter Coughlin versus Matthew Adams. Both those guys are special team specialists. And I also see the sixth round pick Darius Musau making this roster after just being selected in day three of the NFL draft. So it's going to be Carter Coughlin or Matthew Adams. I think on the chopping block, I think Adams will be on the right side of that bubble. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for Carter Coughlin but still a lot of time to go and a lot of things could change. We've got more surprise cut candidates to get to around the corner, but first, I need you to go to this link right here, pricepicks.com slash CLNS, and use that promo code CLNS, and Price Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Price Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. 
I use it every single day, and you should too with the NBA playoffs heating up. Win some money with your Knicks IQ or get ready to rock and roll with some season-long plays on prize picks for the National Football League. They've set the total for sacks this year for Brian Burns at 8.75. I'm going with more than that. I got double-digit sacks coming for Burnsy. I think Justin Jefferson's going to get in the end zone more than eight and a half times as well. NFL, NBA, college football, college basketball, MLB, NASCAR, PGA Tour, and so much more. Many different ways to you play for you to play prize picks as well for you to win money off of prize picks. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. And if you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS, they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Support the show, support the sponsor, be a real one. The next player I see as a surprise cut candidate for the New York Giants is the second year corner out of Old Dominion. That is Trey Hawkins. A lot of people, myself included, kind of fell for the preseason and offseason hype of Hawkins coming in as a six-round pick and being a big-time producer and being that starting outside corner across from Deontay Banks. And he was at the start of the season, including in that game against the Dallas Cowboys as well as that game against the Arizona Cardinals. But after that, he just really didn't play, and it's because his play was not good enough to keep him on the field. Trey Hawkins, not trying to be mean to Trey Hawkins, but was legitimately one of the worst corners in the National Football League. Pro Football Focus ranked him as 103rd corner for the entire season out of 127 players. He gave up 16.1 yards per catch with an 83.3% completion percentage, 403 yards, and he gave up four touchdowns. He just was not ready for it last year. And if he doesn't have a great spring and a great summer, I think he could be on the outside of this 53. Another surprise cut candidate, and the last one we'll talk about, is the versatile defensive back, Jalen Mills. He could play some corner, he could play some safety, and that'll make him more appealing to make this roster. But I think it's a numbers game. I think it'll come down to the Giants want to keep a veteran in Jalen Mills that's had some success in this league, but starting to see his production dwindle, or will they keep a guy in Javarius Owens who they selected in the seventh round of the 2023 NFL Draft? I see four safeties being kept. I see Pinnock, Belton, and Newbin. And I think it will come down to Javarius Owens or Jalen Mills. Mills, a lot more experience and a lot more success in this league. But Owens, the younger player, drafted by this regime. They suppose we like him in the locker room. Gives you some special teams value as well. I think it will come down to those two guys. So those are my five surprise cut candidates. My goal of this show was to give you five guys that could be on the chopping block and give you a logical reason and a picture to paint for you of how it could go down. So now I want to ask you this question. Of the five players, Tommy DeVito, Isaiah Hodgins, Carter Coughlin, Trey Hawkins, and Jalen Mills, which player is most likely to be cut? Type the initial of the guy you think is, unfortunately, not going to be a giant for 2024. And make sure you are following me over on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram, at Marshall Green underscore. Follow me over there, and we'll be back tomorrow with another video.